All right, Mev. Um, I can't believe we didn't win that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were a bit the same. Um, I thought it was a, another excellent performance from the boys. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, with the reason, some of the reasons why we're not in, around the playoffs are all a bit closer is because we, we haven't finished our chances at important times in the game. And I think that was a, another case of that. Um, there's plenty of positives to take out the game. I thought we were, we were good. We were out. We defended well, um, not just at the back, but from the front. And, um, yeah, a bit disappointing we didn't get the win. Yeah, Lewis Collins coming into the front three. I thought all of them were excellent with and without the ball tonight. Just couldn't stick, couldn't stick the ball in the net. We've hit the woodwork three times and and yeah, just <laughs> almost just didn't, just didn't want to go in. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those nights. I think uh, you know they I think they were in the playoffs or just outside the playoffs and um, at home. And I thought we took the game to them and I, and I felt that um, definitely overall that we deserved the win. We didn't get it. Um, didn't take the chances or, you know, like you said, a bit unlucky at the post, at the bar. Yeah, it's disappointing, but I thought the performance of the boys was good. Yeah, obviously we missed Greeny tonight. That might have made a little bit of a difference. Uh, no, well, yeah, maybe. I, I guess we never, we won't ever know, but um, I got, there's uh, a few boys at the moment are carrying injuries. R Ronnie's really struggling with a bad foot. You know, um, Newman's struggling a bit. Greeny's struggling a bit. Um so, but you know, the, the, the boys that played, including JV, I thought they were good. I thought they were really good. And I thought actually it was a really good nil-nil. And I know they hit the, uh, hit the bar from, you know, for shot from 30 yards, but I didn't think they created a, a whole lot of opportunities, really. I thought, as I said, I felt that if you'd come to watch and you didn't know which team was at home, it would have looked like we were. Yeah, um, obviously got to take that into Saturday's game. We've got casuals at home and then Enfield, who were very good away on, uh, on Tuesday night. As I've said it quite a few times. There's no easy games in this league. You know, Crimson Castles had a really good draw against Horn Church on Tuesday, and you know we'll go into that one first. We won't really think about Enfield. That's Tuesday. It's you know the next game is um, Crimson Casuals, and we want to pick up three points and keep momentum building and keep keep the performances because I think that whilst results haven't been you know uh, what we want them to be, I do think the performances have been good. Uh, like today, if you come and watch, it was full of energy. It was full of um, desire to get in a shape and press and work hard and pass and you know I think there were stages in the first half where I think we moved the ball really really well and then created decent opportunities through doing that and um, it was just a shame that we didn't get that win because I thought the boys deserved it. I'm a little bit disappointed as I said for them because I thought they put such a such a high work rate into the game and every single player had their jobs and they did that and it's just a, you know it's just a case of hitting a post or hitting the bar and going in and you know Ibs seems, seems to think he might have gone in on the goal line in the first half I guess you'll tell me that probably tomorrow, but um, I didn't. I didn't think there was enough of a reaction for it to have, to have been over. To be fair, it's so hard, didn't well, he? The one, the one thing I will say is that ball that the lad picked up did not look like it across the goal line. <laughs> yeah, it, we were surprised. He, I, I think, think he's made the re the line and the rest of mind up there. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't have said that word well ball, could you? But um, yeah, it's yeah, as I said, a positive, really good performance. You know. Weren't the result that we we deserved, but we will move on to Saturday and we'll hopefully pick up three points. And again, you know, I think that we we took a you know I think we've been good at home. I think our performances have been good. Um, like for example against Billy Rick in Hornchurch, I thought our performances was at a really high level. And we we didn't get the result, and I think today was a bit like that. I thought we were excellent, really really excellent, and um, and we didn't get the result that we deserved. But you know we've got we've now brought a home performance away. We're back at home Saturday and, um, you know, we need to repeat that and, and keep that performance that we set ourselves to get the three points. Uh, something Rojo mentioned on, on Saturday, the 3G pitch at Orsham, very good and allowed us to play the football we, uh, to a level that we want to. And obviously it's a good service here tonight. Um, does that make a difference for you? Well, it's the same for both teams, both teams isn't it? You know, we... we got a grass pitch and that's what it is you know we have to deal with it there's no <laughs> there's no other option is there we've got to go and try and play football and uh, try and do the right things and like I said our performances you know on, a, on our pitch have been very very good um, not always had the you know the, the three points that we wanted especially against you know what as I said Hornchurch and Villaricky but and if we keep trying to play the right way you know we will we just sit in there if we play like that on Saturday you know we could win three or four the, the amount of chances we've created against a good side that are just in in the playoffs. So, you know, we've got to we've got to build and continue doing what we're doing. Yeah, if you play like that Saturday, hopefully a, a good crowd will go home happy. Uh, I've said it loads of times. We've got great fans and uh, they've been really supportive. And um, I've you know quite a few here today, and there was a few here at um, Horsham. I think we've had four 
four games away at five, I think. And, um, you know, we're really thankful for the fans that come and watch us away. And we just hope there's as many, you know, as many as there po is possible at the home game because it really does help the players. Cheers, Matt. Cheers, mate. All right, Pat, a clean shit for you tonight. Um, it's just disappointing we couldn't get the job done quite at the other end. Yeah, and no, I look, I think we... Um, I think we created enough chances to, to put the game to bed, uh, especially in the second half, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't the night for it. Yeah, um, I thought, I thought, man, I'll show you, man, the energy said the same to you, and as I said to me, we were very, very good tonight, and they're disappointed for you, lads, that we've not come away with three points. Yeah, no, it's them small, small, small details. Um, like you said, instead of, like, we, yeah, we're happy with, we're not happy with one point, but one point is better than losing the game. But yeah, obviously, with the game, um, with the chances we created tonight, I definitely think we deserve the three points. And um, yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit disappointed uh, leaving without three points. Yeah, almost to uh, we've got a couple of home games coming up now. Um, big, 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 big for us to to take this form. We've had two very good performances away from home, as well as Hastings, where I didn't think we were deserved to get beat, and um, got to take those into home games and hope to pick up six points. Yeah, no, that's that's. I mean, we, we know we are very strong at home, and um, the last games, like we we have played very well. We um, we have um, really played well as a team, um, and we have created a lot of chances. Um, and we just at the minute not just putting them to bed, unfortunately. But now, Saturday, uh, three three big points.